Hello everybody, Razvan is my name. Welcome back to Gothic Unreal Engine version 1, release 1 actually. So we are going to enter the old camp. Last time we came from the checkpoint where we got toast inside the barrier. We didn't enjoy the road here. We noticed that we fight differently. Do people react towards... Yeah, they do. So from far away. Yeah, I know. To the camp. You ain't come to make trouble, have you? He looks weird when he's moving his hands. Yeah, we're not going to tell him that. Diego says I'm to meet him in the camp. Okay, in you go then. It's that easy. Yeah, the, this movement of the hands is quite jerky. Here is quiet. So that's how the old camp looks. Very dark, probably because of the rain. Do we see the time of the day that is? Oh, time, okay, it's 15. Yeah, and that's our money. So what are those? Yeah, I wish the, the guards, well not the guards, but the, the health and name would be up and not down here on the ground. Shadow. Guard, okay. Grim and Shadow. Grim. I am new here. Just arrived, have you? I'm Grim. I haven't been here for long either. I was thrown in with the load before you. What's life like here? Easy going. As long as you pay your share of protection money to the guards. What do I have to do if I want to get admitted to this camp? Well, First of all, you have to become a shadow. Therefore, you have to find somebody who supports you, somebody who explains everything to you and takes responsibility for you. If I was you, I'd try to keep close to Diego. I did it like that. He's quite all right. He'll make you take the test of faith. That's different from everybody. Then there'll be some other smaller tasks from other shadows. If you manage them, you'll be with us. What was your test of faith? I can't tell you, man. You have to be silent about things like that here. Okay, sounds fun. It's too far away. Yeah, they still let this be let that be implemented here. Okay. You cannot light anymore the the things. The fire. Doesn't burn us. Okay, so Diego, we made it. Hey you! Oh man, this is going to to be fun with the hands. He has nothing Take for care. us. Hey you! He doesn't talk to us. What's wrong? Okay. Take care. Okay, this is. Oh, he said that we have to talk with Taurus. Sorry, I forgot. Taurus. You don't look as though you'd just let anyone get into the castle. Only Gomez's men are allowed in the castle. I need to get into the castle. I have a letter here for the High Fire Mage. And you expect me to let you stroll inside the castle to hand it over and collect your reward? Yeah. Okay, show me the letter. I'm not letting you handle it. Forget it. Okay, I've forgotten. If I gave you a certain amount of ore, would you let me in the castle? For a certain amount. How much? Well, it'd have to take a while to count the ore. Long enough to make sure me and my boys are busy counting while you slip by. So tell me, how much? One thousand nuggets should be enough. A thousand nuggets? That's nothing. Well, you could join up with Gomez. That'd get you in the castle for free. I have the thousand nuggets of ore. Now let me go in. Don't try and trick me, kid. You don't have one thousand nuggets of ore. I want to work for Gomez. Oh yeah? And what makes you think Gomez will be interested in having you work for him? Good question. Diego says you decide who Gomez is interested in. Huh? If Diego thinks you're okay, why doesn't he take care of you? Look, let me explain. Diego's gonna test you. If he thinks you're good enough, I'll let you into the castle to see Gomez. 
Whatever happens after that is up to you, okay? I'll talk to Diego. Why don't you give me the test? It ain't that easy, kid. Any newcomer who wants to get anywhere needs a patron. That patron has to be one of Gomez's people. He'll test you. And if you fail, you're his responsibility. That's the law around here. There must be something you want done. No. The things we guards deal with are a bit above you, kid. You just stick to the tasks your patron sets for you. I'm quite capable of doing anything you tell me to. Oh, Diego is living. so you're intent on failing, eh? There is one thing that only someone who's not with Gomez can see to. But I'm warning you, you blow this and you'll be in mighty big trouble. Easy, I'll not blow it then. I'm ready for your task. What I'm about to tell you is between you and me, and nobody else must ever hear about it. Understood? Sure. We have a problem with a guy from the new camp. His name's Mordrag. He's been stealing from the Ore Barons. Of course, that applies to a lot of the rogues in the new camp. But this guy has the nerve to come to our camp and sell our stolen goods to our boys. He's gone too far. But he knows I can't do anything about it. Why? Because he's under the protection of the mages. New journal entry. Why do the mages protect that Mordrag? Because they use him as a gopher. Our local mages are in contact with the mages over in the new camp. They often send gophers back and forth. They're likely to become very unpleasant if I throw one of their gophers out of the camp or have him killed. What about me? What do you think the mages will do to me? You're new here. You'll be okay. But I'm responsible for what my boys do. That's why it's vital that you keep your mouth shut. Okay. Do you want me to kill the guy? I want you to make sure I never see his face around here again. I don't care how you do it. Where can I find Mordred? You'll find him at the south gate on the other side of the castle, just beyond the entrance. The bastard wouldn't dare come any further into the camp. I'll take care of it. Okay, we got a quest. Let's see Diego now. Oh, the hands movement, man, this is... This is something. And what did he say? He says that I can join the old camp if you think that I'm good enough. Looks like I have myself a new job. Do we start right now? First, there are a few things you should know. What do I have to know to be accepted in the old camp? If you want to join the camp, you'll have to earn some brownie points. There are a few influential people in the outer ring. Most of them are shadows. If you manage to impress them, it'll earn you a few brownie points. Then you'll have to stand the test of faith. Besides, there are a lot of skills every new arrival has to learn. The more you learn, the more valuable you'll be for us. Who can teach me? Start with fingers. He's the it's most getting so dark. Among us. If you keep your eyes peeled, you'll find other people who can teach you. Where can I find fingers? His hut's kind of hidden. It's next to the castle wall. Just start out here and go towards the arena. When you're at the castle gate, go down to the left and you'll be heading for the arena. What's the test of faith? You have to go to the old mine. There you'll meet a guy called Ian. He'll give you a list. This list is important. It contains all the items the guys in the mine need from us. They'll get the stuff with the next convoy. No problem. Yes, there is a problem. The new camp must not get that list. Like I said, the list is important. If you do it right, you'll get much further. If the list is so important, why should Ian give it to me? Because you're going to tell him Diego sent you. I'll tell him. So apparently we can tell everyone that Diego sent us and we get whatever we want in this camp, right? Where can I find the old mine? Go to Graham. He's a cartographer. Tell him that I sent you and that you need a map. It'll show you the way to the mine. He lives to the left of the north gate. Where do I find the important people? Well, you're looking at one of them. Then there's Thoris. You already know him. As for the others, you'll have to find that out by yourself. If you don't manage to do that, you don't belong here anyway. Just go through the outer ring and talk to people. Then you'll find out who's important. 
Can you teach me something? Yes. I can teach you to improve your dexterity or your strength. Okay. Come back soon. There are many things you need to learn. We didn't learn anything. Take care. So we have to get the map. It's so dark already. Must be because of the rain. Oh man, the hands. That looks weird. Guard. Oh, cannot go through them. Nope. Okay. Oh, Bloodwind. You and your protection money. Digger. Baltaran. Hey, I'm new here. Who are you? I am Baal Taran of the Brotherhood of the Sleeper. What is the Brotherhood of the Sleeper? We're a community of believers in a new faith. Our camp is situated in the east, in the swamp. I've come to preach the words of the Sleeper to strangers like you. How do I get to the Brotherhood's camp? I'm busy, but Baal Parvez should be somewhere in this camp as well. He's near the marketplace, on the other side of the castle. I believe he's even got his own hut there. So he joined the old camp, right? Tell me about the Sleeper's teachings. The Sleeper is a powerful being. Maybe even more powerful than Enos, the god of light. He is with us in spirit, but his power is still limited. He has been sleeping for a thousand years. But now the moment of his awakening is near. He has chosen us to be witnesses to his awakening and to spread his word. So listen, all those who join the sleeper will have immortal souls, but those who are against him will be punished. But the sleeper is compassionate and sends proof of his might to all who doubt him. Okay, so the, so the sleeper is stronger than the creator, you know, didn't know that. Who is the Sleeper? The Sleeper is our Redeemer. He disclosed himself five years ago through Eberion, our master. Since then, we have renounced the three gods. And you should do so as well. The gods just stood by and watched while we were exiled to this prison. But the Sleeper will lead us to freedom. How does your god prove his might? He speaks to us through visions. Whoever hears his voice no longer doubts his might. If you take the weed which grows in the swamp, you will be close to the sleeper and able to hear him. Some people even see images. I see. Yeah, if you smoke weed, you will see a lot of stuff, I believe. What will the way to freedom look like? We are preparing a great invocation of the sleeper, in which all novices create the contact together. In this invocation, the sleeper will reveal the path to freedom. I need to get into the castle. Can you help me? I fear I cannot, brother. The only ones among us who may enter the castle are those who supply the weed to Gomez. We gather swamp weed and sell part of it to the old camp in exchange for goods from the outside world. If you were one of the couriers working for Kor Kalom, you could get into the castle but for that, you would need to be one of us. What do you want to do in the castle anyway? I have a letter for the High Magician of the Circle of Fire. Oh, and where did you get that from? The mages gave you that before they threw you in here, right? You're stupid to tell people about it. But don't worry, I won't tell anybody. But do yourself a favor, and don't tell anybody else about it either. The people here might slit anybody's throat for a thing like that. Most people would love to earn the reward you get for a message from the outside world. Yeah, so apparently three people told us not to tell about the letter, but we are a big mouth. Hey, you! That's a digger. We don't want him. We need a cartographer. Is he here? Also a digger. Oh, it's so dark. We have to sleep somewhere. How late is it? Yeah, this is going to be a problem. Oh. New here, are you? I don't know your face. I'm Sly. I have a job on offer for a newcomer. 
You have a job for me? What is it? One of our guards has disappeared. He's called Neck. He might have gone over to the new camp. You're new here, and you'll get around quite a lot, so keep your eyes peeled. If you find him, I'll speak up for you in the camp. What good will your speaking up for me do? If you want to join the camp, you need people to speak up for you. If I speak up for you with Diego, that'd be a great help for you. I'll see if I can find him. If you meet Fletcher, ask him about Neck. He's taken over his district since Neck disappeared. Where will I find him? His district is the district of the arena. Okay, thank you. We need a guy that sends us the map. If you find I'm not involved. Wasn't he supposed to be here? Oh, Graham. Lucky for you, but I would have enjoyed polishing your mug. Don't be so rude. I'm new here. Hi, I'm new here. I'm Graham. I draw maps. I haven't seen you here before. What do you want? Diego sent me. He asked you to give me a map with a route to the old mine. No problem. For you, only 20 ore. I have no money. Hold on. Diego said you should give me the map, not that you should sell it to me. But I'm not interested. Have you any idea how difficult it is to make a map like this? No clue. 20 is my special price for friends of Diego. Usually I take 50. Give me the map or I'll take it. Hey, be cool, man. I don't want trouble. Here, take the map and leave me alone. I'm poor, sorry. I'd like to buy a map. Sure. What are you thinking of? The more you can see on a map, the more expensive it is. Okay, water, beer, a sketch. Yep, with only three, or we cannot do much. What about the map? It's not on M anymore. Uh, this looks a bit weird, but we will get used to it, so that's where we have to go. It's very close by. But the guy said don't enter the forest and they are damn right to not enter the forest. So we have to find neck. Wow, we took damage from that. That's not good. Hey, you is there a bed? Hey there. Make yourself scarce. Sorry, sorry. Buzz off. Get out of here. Okay, I want to. You asked for Nobody it. Now don't it. you try that again. But how could I live if you guys didn't let me go? I suppose you don't have nothing it's against me. Me little ore nuggets. Hey, you. Get hey, out of here. Yeah, I want to, but I'm down somehow. Sorry. That was lucky. So we are going to let them have the three ores that we had. So it's not easy to sleep anymore. Weird, weird. What about Diego? Does he mind us joining? Okay. Oops. I don't have a lockpick. Diego? I got bitten. Take care. Put the damn weapon away. Yeah, I'm doing it. Okay, this is hard now. There was a free house where we could sleep. They stole our tree or Yeah, the the controls are a bit weird going to take a little while to get used to it so we can lock pick the pick lock the, the chests wasn't here supposed to be a smith or further down yeah, we cannot see anything we have to sleep somewhere There is a digger. There was a free house somewhere here. 
Is everyone to sleep? Nope, there is. So you do know what's good for you. I believe this is the free house. Okay, let's sleep and learn and see how, how the sleeping works because I press there and nothing happened. Is it six in the morning? Oh, finally we can see something. Finally. Guy. Just wait. Hello. Hmm. I haven't seen you before. So Gothic one is really harsh. Just recently arrived. Have you already decided which camp you want to join? No, what do you think? Well, it depends. Each camp has its advantages, I guess. Until you've made your decision, you can stay here. A hut just became available. You're very probably right. What are the advantages of the old camp? If you pay protection money to the guards, you can have a laid-back life here. They always interfere if one of the paying diggers is attacked. Besides, you can only get the goods from the outside world cheap here. These things are unaffordable in the other camps. Yeah, that's that's not true. The prices are the same, regardless of which faction you joined. What goods are considered precious here? Everything from the outside world. Bread, cheese and bacon, and above all, beer and wine. Not the cheap rice schnapps from the new camp, but really good stuff. You always get a good price for weapons, and armor is really expensive. The guards took the old armor off the prison guards after they killed them. You can always recognize them by their armor. They only sell it to other guards. You could never get a hold of one as an outsider. I'm curious if in this version we can get the, the armor for the guard above us on the left side. I think I've heard enough about the old camp. I like it here. Somebody and you're in Some trouble. People, that's how it goes. What are the advantages of the new camp? If you're cool about getting your throat cut for a slice of bread, you should go there. No, it's not that bad, but it's different from here. Here, Gomez takes care that things are sort of peaceful. In the new camp, there is no law. The only ones powerful enough to have a say there are the water mages. But they're too busy studying the barrier all day. Why should I join the sect? Well, you better ask somebody from the sect camp. There are the of a couple of novices in the camp, and I'm sure they can tell you a lot about the sect. I've never been there myself, but according to everything that's said, they must be really generous. None of the three camps seems to be as much in need of new people as the sect camp. Which of the huts can I take for myself? The hut over there with the little canopy is empty. Well, thank you for the information. So apparently there should be the smith. Or did they remove it? Yeah, the night time is quite harsh here, so the, the tortures are going to be very useful. Or am I mistaken? It's not here. Probably somewhere else. Well, we have another quest with Snap. Do a goo thingy. Hey, you! How's things? Not bad. If you can cook well, you have many friends here. <laughs> Would you like some of my rice stew? Thanks. You could do me a favor. What can I do for you? You must be used to good food. I have a new recipe. Meat bug ragu a la snaff with rice and mushrooms. You can have as much as you want, but I still need three meat bugs and some hell mushrooms. Five should be enough. You want me to throw up? You don't have to eat it, but I think at least you could try. If you happen to get the things, think of me. I've already sent somebody, but he just hasn't come back. Must have deserted to the new camp. Where can I find meat bugs? Everywhere where there's garbage laying around. You should be able to find some at the deserted huts near the castle wall. 
Don't get confused by their ugly looks. Once cooked, they are tasty. Where can I find hell mushrooms? If you leave through the south gate, that's the collapsed tower. You'll see a plane directly in front of you. There's mushrooms growing there. Who was the guy you sent before me? His name was Neck. Another one that he sent Neck. He's really discontented here. I think he's in the new camp now. I sent him to collect mushrooms, but he didn't come back. Okay. Who's this guy? Just a guard, right? Oh, Fletcher. We have to talk with Fletcher. Hey, you. If you want to get rid of your protection money, you've picked the wrong day. Yeah? Why's that? Because I'm not here. Oh? Where are you then? I'm actually at the castle, sitting by the big campfire, drinking a mug of beer. My eyes are playing tricks on me, I see. Then how come I'm talking to you? Nick's vanished. This district is usually his responsibility. And until he reappears, Thoris has ordered me to guard it. Do you know where Nick's got to? No, and I'm not likely to find out. If anything, the diggers in this district might know something, but diggers don't talk to guards. Especially not now they know I hate this filthy work. I bet they're laughing behind my back. Why don't you just collect some more protection money? Nick did his rounds before he disappeared. There's not much left to collect now. Hey, Fletcher. Fingers. We know about you. I want to become a shadow. So? Can you help me? I wouldn't know how. Oh, I like the way he wears the bow. <laughs> Man, the bugs. I'm looking for somebody to teach me something. Why have you come to me? Oh, wait, it's on the side. Diego sent me. Okay. You should have said that before. From here, looked like it was the, camp, the other way. It's an advantage to be a good fighter or a thief. If the influential shadows in this camp test you, they'll give you tasks you better not get caught doing. That's why the way of the thief would be a good start to you. Incidentally, I'm the best thief in the whole of the old camp. Apparently in Corinis also. You wouldn't speak up for me in front of Diego, would you? Depends. If you demonstrate that you've learned something as a thief, we could make use of you. How am I supposed to do that? Learn a thief's skill. You need to become more skilled in sneaking around, pickpocketing or opening locks. Then you'll have my vote. Sneaking was never good. What can you teach me? And that depends on what you want to know. In pickpocket, I believe there is nothing. Sneaking? I want to learn how to sneak around. I believe, no false modesty, that I'm one of the best thieves they ever chucked into this colony. But when it comes to teaching how to sneak around, Cavalorn is the better man for you. Where can I find Cavalorn? He's hunting out in the wild. You'll find them at the path to the new camp. Westwards of the old camp, there's a wide canyon. In this canyon, there's an old woodcutter's hut. You'll find him there. Yeah, the lock picking. I don't know, not really needed. Pickpocketing. No clue. We have to see. We have to pick the cheapest one. Oh, this looks so beautiful now. Oh, look at the barrier. Looks like puzzle. The barrier doesn't look that great. I have to admit it. The original one was looking more nicely. So here we have one important shadow. I want to join the camp. Can you help me? I might be able to if you manage to impress me. Some of the best fighters from all three camps come here to compete against each other. Challenge one of them to a fight. I'll watch you, and if you're good, maybe I'll think about it. Yeah, it's going to take a while to be able to beat those guys, especially with those new moves. What but we will do it before we join a fight. I'm in Action. charge of the arena. I organize the bets, hire new fighters. You know. 
I want to place a bet. But there's no fight on. The next fight's due in a couple of days. There'll be an announcement. I wish that would be actually implemented. That's nothing to do with this. I thought the old camp and the new camp didn't get on. So why do you let their people fight here? It's simple. There's fights here once a week, and the diggers always like to see one of the rogues from the new camp get flattened. If one of them fights, there's more bets, and that's good for business. Personally, I can't stand the swines from the new camp, but business is business. Do you train fighters at all? Yeah, but not just for fun. If you want me to train you, you'll have to pay for it. Oh, nice. Okay, Gore of hey, What are you doing here? Me? I'm fighting for the glory of the sleeper. You fight in the arena? I was sent here from the swamp by my masters to fight for the sleeper. I'll fight here for his higher glory, so all infidels can see how strong his power has made me. What is the sleeper? You will find priests who will be able to answer that question better than I can in our camp. I'll just tell you this much. The sleeper is our redeemer. He has led us to this place and he'll get us out of here. You mean you're waiting for your god to liberate you? Yes, and the wait will soon be over. A great invocation is currently being prepared. What kind of invocation is it you're planning? Our prophets say that the common invocation of the sleeper is the key to freedom. If you want to find out more about it, just come to our camp. Yeah, they really need people. They seem very interesting. Could you describe the way to your camp? There are always some novices around here in the old camp, willing to accompany newcomers like you to our camp. You only need to speak to them. I challenge you to a duel in the arena. It will not serve the glory of the sleeper if I slaughter just any bum in front of the audience. I'll only fight against you when you become a worthy opponent. But I'm sure that the fighters from the old or new camp aren't all men of principle. Am I now strong enough to fight against you? No, your strength is insufficient. Okay. We're not going to talk with those two because we will fight them later on. So here we can get the the rest of the meat bugs. Oh, they are up there. Oh man. But the good thing is now you don't have to to aim at them. That's it. Meat bug. Where is the meat bug? Oh, there it is. So it's hard to see them. Oh boy. How are we going to... Oh, there's another one. The fighting looks so weird. We have to learn to fight. Even if we go for a mage, we still have to, to learn to fight. There was a chest, I believe, before, right? Not anymore. Okay. Oh, we still didn't find the... The, the smithy. Shadow digger, okay. I believe they are here. The smiths are here. I want to see how much it costs to learn this skill. Yeah, there they are. Huno and... Just Huno. It looks as if you knew what you were doing. Nobody ain't complained. Oh yet. man, the view. <laughs> that would be a bad idea anyway. Every idiot here needs a sword. Am I talking to your penis? Hey you. Ah, uh, better now. I'd like to try working here as well. Ah. But don't you think that you can make great blades? What do I have to do? Okay, take the steel and hold it into the fire. Then you have to lay the red-hot steel across the anvil. When you're finished, you put the hot blade into the water bucket over there to temper it. 
The cooled blade finally has to be sharpened on the grindstone. I see. However, you'll need some things for that. I can sell them to you. You should have that ever I'd like to buy some blacksmith equipment. Yeah, we don't have any money for all of those stuff. Well, Smith, how's business? Why would you want to know? I may have an order for you. Oh, really? And what? I'll think about it. Come back when you really need something and don't get on my nerves. I'll notice it. How long does it take you to make one blade? That depends. I'm as fast as a hurricane with simple swords. Of course, only on condition that the price motivates me. A freak like Whistler usually has to wait longer for his toy than other people. Why? Doesn't he pay enough? No, on the contrary. He gave me 150 ore for his last sword. The guy is into ornaments and girly stuff like that, and of course that's not cheap. Hey, you ain't curious at all, are you, pal? Uh, yep, so... We can make swords... did we learn it? Yeah, so actually we can... Okay, there are a lot of stuff that we can do in the beginning, so looks like we can craft swords now, but we need money, we need lockpicks, we need to come on money somehow. This looks abandoned also. Yeah, everything is locked here. Ah, the graphic on that roof looks weird. Oh, Mordrag. Hey, newcomer. I'm Mordrag. We have you a quest with you. That name. You can buy any kind of goods from me at a cheap price. We are going to do talks with you when we leave the camp. We will go to the new camp after that. But first we have here some things to Who are you? Hey, you. I trade in swamp weed and potions from the sect camp. Do you want something? What is swamp weed? New here, are you? You can smoke it. Very relaxing for most of us. I want to join the camp. I want to become a shadow. Oh, you're looking for a chance to prove your worth? Yes. Good. You can do me a favor. If you do it well, I'll speak up for you in front of Diego. What is it? In the sect camp, there's a man called Kalam. Quite a big shot. One of the gurus of the sect. Kalam is an alchemist. He has the recipe for an effective healing potion. I'd like to buy the recipe off him. Then I can produce it myself. But nobody can get near Kalam. And what do you expect me to do? The sect loonies are looking for new people all the time. You're new here. Just pretend you want to be recruited. Kalam is one of the gurus. That means he checks the new candidates. If you get in touch with him, try to get the recipe. Whether you want to pay for it or you don't, I don't care. Sounds like a difficult business. How much is in it for me? At some point, Diego will ask me if you're suitable for us. Just guess what my answer will depend on. Maybe I'll have to pay for the recipe. Give me 50 ore as an advance payment. That's how we get the first money. No ore, no recipe. Well then. We can talk about the ore as soon as you have the recipe. No, I want to see ore right now or you can get your recipe yourself. There's enough for the newcomers. I think I should give the job to one of them. He's a tough cookie. Okay, let's just forget about the whole thing. Not so fast. I just wanted to know how far you'd go. 50 ore is quite a lot for a newcomer, don't you think? That sounds better. Okay, okay, I've just got 50 ore nuggets spare here. Don't let me down, kid. Where is the sect? Camp? So we got money. Leave the camp through the south exit, then head eastwards. You'd better take a map. I got one here for 50 ore. The south exit is the collapsed tower, isn't it? Exactly. Show me your goods. I got the best stuff here. Arrows. Oh, the potions look like the one from Gothic too. 
how much money does he have? What can we sell him? Rusty sword? Oh, we get automatically, we don't have to... Pickaxe, I don't know if we need one, we are going to sell those things to him. Tumbler, we only need one. Because I don't know what, what is really needed. Coin is worth nothing. Okay, we got some money now. We have to not be beaten up by anyone. We have to talk with those people here. Oh. The sleeper be with you, Why stranger. am I talking with their penises? To guide you onto the right path. Well, we have to do some... One quest here. We will have another guy that wants to talk with me. There are a lot of people to talk hey, with. Man. I'm Fisk. I trade goods What's up with your kinds. voice? If you ever need anything... You're in the right place here. Okay, I guess I'm going to make a cut here. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Oh, it's raining. Where we finish talking with those people here in this market. Then we will go with Mordrak to the new camp. We have to do there some quests. We will come here and finish everything. We have to go also to the old mine. So thank you very much guys for joining me in this awesome uh, Unreal Engine, the graphics is perfect. I'll see you in the next episode. Be cool and bye bye.